My team was Unchained Generator Marine Cess, Pure Megalith, and Vendred. What the fuck, uh, dude? <laughs> yo. Hello, Nadir. You get so so. Let me let me get this straight. You planned out an Iron Man five versus five, and some of your teammates didn't show. I mean, it's early in the morning in their NA, so I assume they probably just slept through it. I'm I'm assuming. I have like three NA competitors. They're here. What yeah, the but they're is? NA competitors that watch you at this hour in the morning every day. I don't usually stream until like three hours from now. <laughs> okay, you're right. Well, I think this is the biggest L here. I think you know who your true friends are. Your team screen, is so. your team is Jark, Seb, Ray, and who? Uh, Reggie. Bro, you got Ray. That's that's your that's your your uh your War Rock player. Ray's about to clap everyone up, dude. It, it's Damn. gonna be John. You're playing. You're playing against War Rock 100%. Ray is the un <laughs> unranked to plat one War Rock extraordinaire. All right. It's gonna be insane. Is this going on YouTube, by the way? Who's going Versus first? Then? John time. is going first. All right. He gets the prosperity. Now, the thing is, this is pretty much going to reveal uh, that he is on generator. So the real question is, will he be able to set up a decent turn one board that does not lose to the extremely powerful battle phase effects of War Rock monsters? <laughs> uh, it may or may not require him to literally just go for a singular, uh, literally a singular uh, boss Garda phase will probably or <laughs> end his turn here. Well, don't he, worry, Ray's did... deck is definitely just like, I'm pretty sure it's just like 10 War Rock cards and 30 power staples from Dual Devastator. Power yeah. cards! Ooh, Lopter okay, and right. Boss Stage. That's a pretty good Lop setup. Lop That's a very stage, solid I mean. setup. Yeah, no better opening than that. Maybe we have an Ash here? Maybe. I mean, no wouldn't way. you want to save the Ash for the Boss Stage? I don't know. Um, and that's how that that's how that works, right? It's specials from deck, and then it chains to it. Does it not chain block itself? No, it's on uh, summon that. It no, gets yeah, it's on summon of the, the 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 boss monster from the deck that it summons the tokens. But he does get to Mardell oh, to hell. add a generator card, so that's pretty strong. The only bad thing about this deck uh, is is drawing the generators. <laughs> Yeah, like that's the thing, right? You have to play that one generator that summons one from hand, which is a brick to unbreak your bricks. It's insane. Oh, <laughs> okay. This isn't like terrible. Uh, he gets another um, negate from the deck here, unless Ray has some form of disruption for it. If he has like a cosmic or something, then that's really OP. Yeah, this is just. Well, I mean, he's got boss fight, so it doesn't actually matter if he has cosmic, so. I don't know what boss fight does. Is boss fight good? Oh, there's the Ash. Yeah, so boss fight is. Um... Oh, it changes the, the effect to draw card. one, right? It's just basically metaverse for the deck that triggers mm, it immediately. I see. Okay, I see, so he ashes boss stage here, so I'm pretty sure he can just resolution activate boss stage. Yeah, boss fight. Which I think triggers it again, unless this is once per turn. Uh, actually, the field spell's effect to summon from deck is not once per turn. The token yeah. effect is once per turn. Like hard once per mm. turn. Yeah, so this, this, this ash blossom just did nothing, actually. So he must Watch, have popped Cosmic ash right now. Per turn. Cosmic one time. Not even? Well. Uh, that's unfortunate. So I'm pretty sure he drew Ash for turn. Otherwise, I think he should have Ash the Prosperity. Because, like, yeah, this like he knew he had boss fight. He searched it, and it just does nothing. I don't think we ever it's an Ash Prosperity, actually. I don't think you ever Ash mm -hmm. Prosperity. I feel like Prosperity, like, for the most part, whatever they add. Oh, Imperm on the Har. So they, they can, like, chain the Har right now to negate this and then have five tokens. But then that gives Ray a lot of monsters that he can just beat into in the battle phase. Kind of sussy. <laughs> yeah, that is looking a bit a bit sus for John because that's a okay, lot of monsters like for these this. generators for these uh you know. No, 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 we're good, we're good. Come on, oh, Ray, you wow. got this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when the War Rocks have monsters to beat over is a little scary. <laughs> All you need to do is battle damage, which is fine because these tokens are tiny. Yeah, they're pretty fucking small. Is, is how yeah. Oh yeah, that field center with the big titties. Ooh, okay. Here comes the Brazinga. duster for the boss stage. Very scary boss I, stage after the right. so As you can see, we've seen a lot of good War Rock engines no so far. Fortia! Oh my god, that's insane! <laughs> Dude, so what does this one do? It adds if it destroys, right? I think it's Rhoda, yeah. Uh, if, if an Earth Warrior battles, it adds a War Rock from deck that. Dude, there's no way John about to lose to War Rock right now. Ain't no chance. <laughs> Ain't no shot. Oh, try What is that? Is this specials itself. Destroy one card the opponent controls and draw two cards. Oh, what the hell? Wait, Damn. that's insane. But Fortia floats. 
Oh, Ash Blossom! Oh, no. oh my god! What no. the? <laughs> what is this card? I've never seen that Trius card in my life. What the? There's hell? the nine lives cat. Rank, rank nine, I mean, bro. Rather. This could have been a VFD, yeah, and he chose nine lives cat. This is his optimal mm. rank nine. Who needs I think VFD? He's just gonna kill him, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know if he has a means of killing him, because like oh, the thing with generator, right? Yeah, nine lives cat is small in attack. So unless John has some means of putting another big monster on board, he can't really kill. That isn't base, uh, John. Is. That's not your guard. There's the VFD. Oh, dude. Damn. Yeah, this is looking is a wee bad, bit I don't know. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Ray just probably plays some dual devastator uh, staple that deals with it. Yeah? A, a dual devastator yeah, staple I'm might be really good. I mean that that that's basically the deck I th I think with Warrocks. Look at this. Actually, yeah, no. Power he, card. Not, my chat's pointing out that was more damage if he should attacked first with Har and Mardell. <laughs> Maybe John's uh, been playing a lot he, of duel links. He needs he needs an XE to uh, battle. So I mean, he had he had the nine life scat too. That could have attacked. He could have attacked yeah, the nine life scat, cool. Mardell, and the Har, but he just didn't. He's giving him a chance here. Ooh, are we seeing an Ash Blossom coming stand, down right? on the boss stage? Ray has some <laughs> sort of response. Uh, we have a delay. I honestly don't know what the uh, what 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 he would need. Um, I, I guess like he can dark ruler, but VFD would have already resolved at that point. Ooh, I don't know about using VFD here. He's uh, yeah, gets ch chain imperm. I yeah, mean, at he, that he, point, he, if he, he chains imperm, you just Zeus, right? You just Zeus yourself, and you don't care. I mean, uh, probably not. You lose your boss stage too. Actually, that's really bad. Yeah, he played kind of yeah. hard into the imperm there, but eh, it's whatever, I guess. It worked out. Call Earth. So, uh. Literally yeah. saved them. 25. Why are they so big? Why is this uh, being boosted? Is it Lopter, Lopter has the effect that it boosts all your generator monsters by 1,000 during your opponent's turn. Wento hits the board. Not sure what okay. that's going to do, but this is going to prompt Lopter to summon out a Har from the deck, most likely. Har is their best card, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, Utgarda is also a pretty solid card. We're going for Hella. This forces the opponent to send a monster from hand to grave. Now, the question is, what is this going to dig for? I'm curious why we normal summon first. Yeah, I mean, I think it's because there probably was no, like... I think the summon doesn't really matter. And I think it was trying to, like, bait out maybe any form of interruption. Maybe he would have gone for the Utgarda play potentially opening up the door for Ray to hit like a blowout card that wouldn't be able to be negated but now that he has a negated he has to a negate he has to kind of play into it you know uh there he's just excavating Raigeki Raigeki but like there's a har on board har negates it see that's that that's exactly what i was saying like if if he had gone for the Utgarda play and just banished Wento and then he prospies for Raigeki like they were back in the game Ray was like right back in it Har forcing a discard of a monster from Ray's hand or field, I think. Um, no, 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 don't, don't there's worry, the Maxi going from Max hand. Raigeki comes Max down, and Har is able to just negate this. Wait, he had Maxi in hand? Why did we use that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we did not want to draw a bunch of cards. Okay, Raigeki forces out Har. Chain Dignity. Dignity. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> It negates the heart! That's crazy! Bro, but I mean, what do you do, you right? Even change this. It doesn't target, right? When a monster you put controls activates effect, negate it. Yeah, so oh, Zeus chain no. doesn't actually even dodge it. Okay, so, well, I mean, Wento does nothing here, and he's just passing on Wento, and then on the follow up turn, John probably gets to summon another Har, but like, what the fuck is this game, dude? <laughs> Yo, Trius Hierarchia, Raigeki Dignity, like, Jesus, what are these lines? <laughs> Four cards in hand. Another Prospy, oh, no. holy oh, no. shit. With six in the extra deck, is he getting rid of his, the rest of his extra deck or no? He'd probably go three. Oh, he go for three? Wow. He probably Boss wants to quest. save the Nine Lives Cat, because oh. the Nine Lives Cat can reborn a guy from his grave. Storm is useless. Boss Quest's pretty strong. Yeah, I think he's trying to save a nine because I know he plays triple nine lives cat in his extra deck, and the reason why he does is because I think he's only on one har, and the only ways he has to get har back from grave are nine lives cat or Hella. Oh my god, he plays Jesus, this he's one. Playing that one. He's playing Nagalfar. What the I don't hell? I really know what that does. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, really it can, can you. if if a card you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one generator monster or beast warrior monster you control instead. Broken. Wow. 
Yeah. I mean, this is just over. We've got boss fight, boss room. So uh, boss room is a negate pretty much on... Uh, yeah, I mean, what does Wento even do? I mean, who knows? Maybe there's another power spell on the top, a power card in the hand. An Ash Blossom comes down or something like that here. Udgard are probably going to be able okay. to banish this Wento, so the real question is, is that one card Ray has in hand good enough? Well, no disruption for Nagofar or boss stage. Yeah. Not that it would matter because the uh, boss fight is set as well. Oh my okay. god, the Fortia. Is that good enough? Uh, Surely you just Udgard of that, right? I yeah. suppose that's a good top deck, but yeah, Utgard a banish. Uh, it doesn't wait for the. Dude, battle I'm, phase. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that both these decks had a back and forth is surprising to me and very impressive. <laughs> I think it looks like a back and forth, but this is definitely bullying. Oh yeah, at this point it's very one-sided now. That's <laughs> that's for damn sure. They're gonna boss fight, giving Ray a draw to trigger the boss stage here to be able to summon out a big enough beefy beater in order to push for game most likely. Uh, Warrock is a bad matchup versus Generator. Please do tell me what the good matchups are for Warrocks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Valgus. That's the uh, brick that unbricks the brick. So we're gonna be summoning a Generator out from the hand here. Are we gonna see Mardell? Oh my God, Nidhog. <laughs> Are you telling me the best deck in the game is Vorox? Try Cyrarchia can use its effect from Grave? No way. Yeah, it's Grave as well. It's pretty good. Oh my god! Why didn't we wait for tokens? Oh, it's a level 9? Hold the phone. Oh wow. Wait, that card's insane in Generator. Enter Blathnir, banishing the Wento, and that's game on board. Wow. Oh, uh, it was a hard-fought battle, and uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to see the Dream uh, War Rock sweep. The Raiders have been... The genders have been raided, dude. Gender genders Raider. have been raided. Yeah, dude. Holy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Round two. Is it Team Coder? or Team Farfa that wins game two chat. So Yoror is on a 43 card deck and he starts with Megalith Unformed. Yeah, so Yoror um, is actually a pure Megalith player. He only a plays- pure Megalith player, damn. Yes, sir. Pure Megalith uh, plays one copy of Vlog Dragon in his deck, very based, uh, and also has uh, an engine of one researcher, one seeker for extenders. The rest is all Megalith stuff. Everything. <laughs> the uh, the end board of Megalith is basically just like Pop Four or something, isn't it? Uh, it's Pop Four. I think he can have like some decent extra deck stuff. Uh, the one thing that so. was changed because we since we agreed to do you know fun decks, uh, he Yoror did remove the uh, Buster Lock engine from his deck because that's a little bit cringe. So we were like, ah, we'd like the opponent to play at least a little bit. So we removed that. But everything else is still in there. And Yoror's actually been clapping up. Uh, MBT does uh, locals on Tuesdays. And Yoror has been clapping them up very consistently, apparently, with pure Megalith. So it's exciting to see. Research are going to be able to in. dig wow, for some seeker. Whoa! <laughs> My man! Jesus Christ. Masculine giving, giving the god hands. Let's go. Uh... I doubt he plays Raptite or something, right? Surely he's. Uh, uh, I don't go know that like... he plays Raptite. The thing is, I don't think you play that many rocks you can summon. This researcher just whiffed, and yep, just there aren't whiffed. that many for the Seeker to summon either. But yeah, for the most part, you really just want these as, like, you know, Synchro Extenders or Hulk Extenders more so than you want the summon from deck, but you'd rather use them just in the case of, you know, if you get an extra body, hey, why looks not? It like it's probably just going to be like Search Block Dragon and then make Hulk with some of these things. Yeah, that does seem like a pretty decent play. I mean, there's been no like response time giving to given to Septo, so I don't know if Septo is a toggle Andy, but in the case that he's not, I think this telegraphs no responses from Seb. Toggle Andy's. <laughs> Dude, I've I've been trying to learn how to toggle Andy, bro, but I am not good at it. I've toggled off one time when I did like my full Euling board and everything. I toggle off and I'm like, cool, I'll just toggle on when I have something. My opponent goes duster and it didn't let me toggle on in time and you wiped like three back row and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I that's why I don't really try and I don't do bother, like, yeah. Oh. So that's the thing that I don't get with Megalith. I don't know how people play Megalith. I, maybe I'm too small brain for this, but when it comes to Megalith, it literally looks like they summon Ophiel and Haggith like seven times, and it's like, okay, I get it. You're adding a monster, then adding a spell, then tributing them to summon a monster that adds a monster, then adds a spell, then tributing them. You're just going through everything you have, and I'm like, what is the end goal? I don't see it. When these Megalith players so are like so five-headed. The actual purpose behind that is that it's supposed to just load your grave with ritual monsters so that you have X number of pops for Bethor. Because Bethor pops cards equal to the number of different named ritual monsters in your grave. 
Yeah. So you it's so it looks like it's doing nothing, but it's basically cycling all of the names. I'm pretty sure. It's just that in have Phalag like as well. The Phalag, the monster that he has in the grave, also gains. It makes all your monsters gain 300 for every ritual in your grave, not even per name. So that's like really cool. Yeah. Oh, and Cross Sheep is so that's cool your, in this deck. Uh, the yeah, draw two is, discard two is really sick. It draws two and discards two. Like yeah, yeah I wish I, it discarded I, one. I, yeah. Yeah, just like a D draw, right? It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's but, pretty much it's pretty much just like a hand fixer. I yeah. I really don't think the Adamantipators are there for their their summon from deck effect, but hey, if you hit it, you hit it. Why not, right? Oh yeah, they're just like free extenders. Are we seeing Apollosa? I think we are. Three material. That is That's an Apo. Three material Apo. Pretty strong. This is starting to look. Uh, I don't. What does the Xenogatar do? Ooh, so I thought, what is this Mill Revival Golem? Oh, the O Lion. Did you miss this in the TCG? I really don't. <laughs> We're not summoning formula, Ooh, are we? Ooh, Desert Locust. Ooh, looping for one. What can we yeah, make? So we can make a Synchro 10 with Revival Golem, but like... That is a... Spiral! Spiral! <laughs> yep. It's, uh, it's, uh, if you notice that he specifically added Tough, which is uh, great. Tough Control, so, bro. My yeah, Duster. Septo's playing Tough Control. <laughs> Not, wow. I don't think he's playing Master Plan. He is genuinely not playing the combo this version. Is just it is tough actually control, Tough Control, dude. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how well right, Tough Control we is going to fare against this. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, Yo, I think the craziest thing, right, is that if he activates Tough Effect right now and it gets negated by Apo, you can beat over the Apo. So that's it. And that is what I didn't miss about Ad Emancipator, dude. Like, uh, blo IP, and IP block on the opponent's turn was always so busted. Oh, Ooh, that's a massive cool. access code. Let's go. Get Psalm Strike, the punish. The punish! Yes, uh, so a strike or uh, I don't know, hand trap combination. Whoa! That was, wow! The strike! Got it. That was Glow Stab! <laughs> okay, is that still game on board? 3350 plus 3250? I think it is still game on board. That is still <laughs> game on board. Oh wow, that didn't make a difference. Jesus Christ. By exactly 50 damage, might I add. Oh, well, Block is also a card that exists in the video game. <laughs> uh, torrential chain veiler. Uh, Yo, drowning, drowning oh. mirror force. One time. No. <laughs> when the tough well, attempted to control. Leading very well here. I'm gonna be honest. Wow. Round three. Yeah. Who is going to win? There is Jark versus okay. Mutt Hunter. It's time. Right, okay, so three. I'm telling you right now, both of our chats are going to be spamming a certain emote. That we love to spam whenever anything looks a little bit sus. Marinsus. <laughs> <laughs> so Mutt yeah, is yeah. a very base Yu-Gi-Oh player. The decks he plays are Marine Cess and Phantasm Spiral. Therefore, he knows his way around these powerful strategies. I love, I love the name Very of good. this deck. It's Princess and the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh boy, I sure hope Jark's playing a fire deck. <laughs> he has to. Yo, Salamangrate, one time. Yeah, There's that, I mean, Marine Sense is basically solid, but, like, just worse. Yeah. Really I mean, the new support, have you read it? It's really cracked. Yeah, huh? it's, it's pretty good. It, it is decent. Finally ending on a disruption. How? <laughs> Gem Knight! No shot! What? <laughs> this is really bad, because... Negate and steal the Gem Knight Fusion. Wow, yeah, and actually stealing the Gem Fusion is very relevant here. Yeah, because... Because uh, <laughs> Gem Knight Fusion, as Vlad and I like to say, this is uh, literally Phoenix Blade with a real effect, but at the end of the day, if the card doesn't go to the graveyard, it does not have a real effect in, on the field if it's set on the Phoenix opponent's Blade. side of the field. Phoenix Blade Polymerization. All right, he's thinking about it. Yep, there it is. Yeah, you there gotta it is, do it. Uh, the big old negate -aroni. Brilliant! Oh my god! The yes. talent! Any responsers? Any responsers? Okay, so that's just, uh, that's just one card combo, right? Uh, that is the only one card FTK. Actually, he needs a gem knight. Oh, the Ash! Wow, do you have a call by? Any call by the Greaves? Dude, Mutt has it all. Ooh. Holy... Damn! Uh, Yo, Mutt clapping some cheeks. Yeah. Coder team just build different. Yo, we're build different, dude. Nice team, Farfa. Thanks! <laughs> Wait, if we lose this, we're basically just down, right? Uh, you're you're down 3-0, and it's first of five wins, so yeah. Oh, true, yes. Okay, cool. No, this is fine. We just reverse sweep him. 
Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, what, once it's me, your team is just gonna start clapping me left and right, dude. <laughs> uh, no, I did not bring Code Talkers. I brought a deck okay. that allows gameplay. <laughs> okay, that's 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 uh, respectable. At least yeah. there's a little bit of gameplay there. Yeah, that I guess could work. You'd go, you'd go Rabbit into Quartz, uh, and then that gives you enough juice for your Block Dragon. And then from there, you genuinely can just do full combo and kill with burn damage. But I really, really don't see that happening, especially with four cards in hand and one potentially live back row. We know one of those two back row on Mutt's side is the gem fusion that they yoinked. Um, what's her name? It's not Aquamarine, it's the other one. Oh, never mind. That's just that's just insane. And, and called by a resolution to uh, stop any fusing, I guess. I mean, that doesn't really Wait, stop what? anything because Quartz can shuffle back from Banish as well. That was a completely unnecessary oh, okay. called by. Oh, no, I, I see what he's doing. He's using Call by so that his wave is live in hand. Oh, yeah, if he has wave, then yeah, that's just really cracked, isn't it? Don't yo, worry. Not, remember, uh, remember when you said, yo, what if we just did teams of three instead of teams of five? This Iron Man would have been over in 50 minutes. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, At prediction, Team Coder wins out again for round three. Oh, Reggie right. going to set. Reggie, is what about, what a dice roll. Let's go. Yeah, we're currently our teams are 2 2 on dice rolls. Ray won his, my team won the other two, and now Reggie won this one. Setting two monsters, setting a monster setting to back row, yes. and passing. Now, you people think that this isn't very good, but. Oh, it's sub terror. Oh, no, dude. Adensos, no you're going to have you're gonna have one hell of a challenge to face here. Now, don't Holy. worry. I know we said fun decks, so uh, don't worry. There is, is it uh, combo sub terror? Please tell me this is combo it's, sub terror. It's, it's, it's cool sub terror. There, it, it isn't, you know, haha -ha, Tikaboo uh, and fair. Uh, two fair, fair, fair. Monsters. Well, Adensos is, is on cool is on a deck of a type that is to an extent underutilized. Um, it is a type that you know most people play as an archetype by itself. It's Storm. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa! God. Someone in my chat said, "Is it this?" Oh wow! No, my god! Dude. Wow! Bro, you okay. guys are just murdering us. This is so I'm unfair. A, I'm a I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know if a Densus's deck is able to OTK. I don't know that deck well enough to know if it has OTK potential. Perhaps you can tell me if Vendreds are able to hell? OTK. <laughs> ah, Reggie, there's a solitaire coming down. There. That's not a cool card. Never mind. Okay, well, let's see what a uh, Vendred does. Ooh, Ooh Ash Blossom. Ooh, Ash Blossom. That probably doesn't do a whole lot. I'll be real with you. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't know okay. if Vendred has any OTK lines through getting their Solitaire Ashed. Let's activate a Ritual <laughs> spell, shall we? <laughs> uh, they 100% can OTK, like... wow. There's like a field spell that like adds uh Oh, there uh, it is, Vendred uh, Origin. Okay, origin. That's cool. Ritual summoning, tributing Mizuki, oh, banishing, banishing Solitaire. Solitaire. What are we making? Is that the savior in hand? Uh, it's literally the Slayer. Oh, Battle it's Lord. Battle okay, Lord. Okay, Ooh, it? so Battle Lord is oh. as a thought. It's it's like um it's more so um what's it called um Shockmaster, but only for the current turn. See, Reggie, you deserve this for uh, putting Tikaboo in your deck list. I defended yeah. you. I thought this was a cool deck. <laughs> This was not fun right. sub terror. It was unfun sub terror. So AOT here you go. So he's, wow, he's locking trap story. cards. Oh, that's a good card. Holy so, crap, that's insane. Wait, so he gets the wait, synchro awesome. with Bloom and Battle Lord for an eight, and then he gets to trigger Battle Lord to add any ritual monster from deck to hand, and then foolish any Vendred card, and Bloom will be able to add a level five or higher zombie, I believe. If he yeah, synchros this. And he's locked Reggie Ruler out of activating any trap cards this entire turn. Okay, Who would have guessed that Vendred was based? Well, Mega looping the last card in hand, why not? You don't remember ages ago when this deck got like, I don't know, what was it, like its second wave of support? And uh, Jeff Jones, I think, did like a weird video on like some crazy uh, Vendred uh, combo and stuff like that. I think the only time I've seen the Vendred cards ever see play was specifically when the Battle Lord engine was played in Drytron, when Benton went to one. Because it was a, it's a way of searching Ben 10, because it searches any ritual monster, and it locks your opponent out of using hand traps for the turn. So it adds, adds a thought to your opponent for your combo, and then you get to search Ben 10 on top of it, which is pretty cool. Oh, Scars Graver can discard a Vendred card, here. special summon this card. Yeah, so the, the main thing that Vendreds do, that not a lot of people know about, is that they have all these main deck monsters that if they're used to ritual summon a Vendred, that Vendred monster gains additional effects. Yeah, so the problem is like getting the monsters on the field and benefiting from that, which is terrible. Yeah, um, pretty much. I feel like, yeah, so like they, they have like a cool sort of like a miracle fusion, but for rituals. 
Um, but like you don't get any of the benefits if you banish them. You have to like specifically ritual off of the field. So it's like, eh, I don't know what this deck was supposed to do, to be honest with you. Yeah, specifically um, ritual summon using this card on the field. Well, when your deck has anti synergy with itself, like it's so unfortunate. Uh, yep, not sure what this instance is gonna do. Don't right, worry, what is it's the card gonna in hand? It wasn't Uma Strix that wasn't doing a whole lot anyway. Okay, so he is playing some cool cards. There is a, there is an Uma Strix there. Raijin! Oh, Raijin! Okay. Ooh, well, so it doesn't die. Pog. I guess we have why a body. The, why the Raijin no die? What? Which is <laughs> we, we have a body. <laughs> <laughs> and Alright, one back row. Now the thing is, right, is that once again, you can go Mizuki, Reborn the Battle Lord, and then Battle Lord Lock Trap. So if that's a trap card, unless you're using it early on in the turn, that Battle Lord can completely like lock it out. You get him, Battle Lord. Oh, he can't even float because of Battle Lord effect, and that's his game. Wow. 4-0 no! oh for Team Coder. Okay. Well Nadir, are you stepping into the ring, brother? Because because this is it. This is, this is what I was meant to do. I was meant to carry the whole server on my back and and reverse sweep to 5-4. So our nice team roll. our <laughs> team is 3 out of 5 on coin tosses. All right, give me a good go second hand here at least. Come All right, on. Nadir. Come on, Best come of on. luck, my dear them. Okay. So I have brought to the table today the best deck. A, a, a chain of uh, un, uns. Yes, a chain there of uns, you would know. I will Aruha yeah. Pop Chamber! Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. My favorite was Secrets of, Secrets of Eternity, but with Furry. Secret of Eternity. No, okay, there was, so there was you one. You have a quick play uh, pop. Uh, so the, the Rekea is, is a quick play pop of a card I control. Um, the Rage can quick link with a special summon monster on your field by targeting it, and it links only with it and itself. And my set back row is the Reborn that you know of. All the number, Chief, any number. Oh. Fuck. Are you on Noids? You're on grass something. I don't think it's Noids though. Oh, it's definitely not fucking Noids, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll call four. Fuck it. I'm so good. Ah. I'm so nice. Raiden off the Damn. top. Dude, Raiden off the top. I'm just built different, chat. I'm just built. Not four. No. No, coder. Don't call four. No. No. <laughs> Don't call four well, coder. Nothing on summon, interesting. No, nothing on the summon. I can't, I can't link it off because it's normal summon. I can only link off a special summon monster. Ah, I these see. cards okay. are not good, Nadir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tsuki Tsuki Noko. Right. Um, tsuki the Tsuki no Noko is fine. Yeah. Nadir, big braining so that he doesn't get his entire team five owed. Let's see. All right, let's there go is. into. I swear to Jesus, if that last card in hand is grass, I swear to oh. God, if that last card in hand is grass, I've been holding this for grass, and you forced my hand. I uh. swear, if it's grass, I swear to you, it's 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 not grass. <laughs> Wicked. Would, uh, okay. Awesome. I would slap that down very hard. Okay. Let's yeah. Go. Yeah. I I was holding it. I was like, bro, if. I need to hold this Ash for grass. Like, that's why I discarded Sarama and everything. I was like, dude, I don't want... I do not want to lose the fucking grass right now. Uh, I will use the effect of this and see if you have a Hulk target in your extra deck. Apparently uh, that is absolutely okay, sir. <laughs> that is A-OK. -okay. You're dead, bro! Royal bro. Anguish! Wow! Okay. You're dead, bro! Did I ask? Do you still have combos and stuff? So I'm, just making, I'm just making access go talker, bro. Oh, okay. I'm just making a big old 53 boy. Oh, I didn't even need to. You're on 3k, I forgot. You're paying half your life like Gage. Yep. That's your favorite card. Yo, uh, GG's Nadir. 5 0 oh, sweep. Okay, <laughs> so let's, let's just do the deck breakdown. So you were on like 60 card pile. You had yes. Gem Knight. You had Sub Terror. You had like Tough Control. And War Rock. My team was Unchained Generator, Marine Cess, Pure Megalith, and Vendred. What the fuck, uh, dude? <laughs> I'm not gonna to lie. I, I genuinely, wrong. I genuinely think that the teams were even too. Like I think those decks were all pretty even. Uh, yeah, no, it was fine. It was, it was whatever. Um, you know, it was unlucky matchups, I guess. Like two combo decks going against each other. Uh. Dice roll there. Um, it's it's whatever. Yeah. It was a, uh, 
Well no, fought no, battle. No, no, we have to rig something here to try and get a uh, try and get one win. I don't know what a happened. A hard, guys. a hard fought battle indeed. <laughs> the better team won. Yeah, dude. Let's go. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, well uh, that is definitely going on YouTube. The day we swept Farfa. <laughs> zero five. Zero five. All right. Thanks for the duels. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah. GG's, my dude. GG's to your team. It Enjoy was fun. All right. Peace, dude.